go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Let's talk about what if Wilder loses to Robert Hellenius. I believe it's a career and could it happen? Let's talk about all that. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. And could it happen? I mean, yeah. I mean, who, who was my man that knocked out Abner Mares and Gary Russell knocked his ass out? Um. Was it like Johnny Lopez, Johnny Gonzalez or something? I remember they used to be in a gym together. And uh, somebody pointed this out on Facebook when they fought. It was on Showtime, too. And they pretty much said that, you know, Abdul Mares might be in some trouble versus Johnny, versus Johnny Gonzalez or whatever old boy name was. You know, and he pointed out the fact that they both was trained by Nacho Berenstain, Stein at once. So, obviously, you know, Macho... It's one of the best trainers out there still to this day. And they knew how Abner Mares clicked or however it was. I think I think Johnny Gonzalez was still with uh, Nacho Bearstein. And he pretty much pointed out that, you know, Abner Mares could be in trouble. He was just thinking it's another, you know, tune-up or whatever. You know, but apparently, you know, Johnny Gonzalez, you know, knocked Abner Mares out. And I think it was like round one or like a couple of rounds. It wasn't even like that long. And old boy called it. He sure did. He called it. He said that, you know, he ain't like this matchup. And when you've been, long story short, you've been in the gym, he been sparring with Deontay Wilder. There's some things I don't like about this fight um, for Deontay Wilder. One of the things is they sparred together. So Helanius pretty much know how Wilder tick. He probably ain't taste the full head, the full blunt trauma of the right hand. But then again, who knows if the right hand is still the right hand. You know, Deontay Waters said he had did like 100 rounds of sparring like four or five days or something like that. So you don't know physically if Deontay Wilder is still there. You know what I'm saying? You just don't know. And he took a lot of ass for Fury, but you know, that's like almost a year to this date, if not over a year. So he has some time to get, think, get his mind together and all that, but Lanny has been in the gym with him. He also tends to struggle with guys eye level or taller. Not just Tyson Fury, he struggled with Gerald Washington too, even though he was coming back from injury. But apparently he's coming back from injury again. So, I mean, he said he's going to be in the 220s, maybe, you know, late, you know, 219s, you know, something like that. But, uh, like I said before, you know, sparring with him, struggling with guys who are about your height and, and tall. And Hellanius is hot as fish grease right now, but that's only because he ran into Kaunaki. That's what I believe. And Kalnaki is, you know, he's the type of dude that, uh, he's the type of dude, you know, who was just on, uh, he was on, he was on broad time as a heavyweight. A lot of people say they should have, they should have been, uh, they should have been fed Hellanius to, uh, fed him to Hellanius. I mean, fed him to Wilder at one point. So, I mean, I, I believe that to be, probably pretty much uh pretty accurate um hope i'm going the right way i believe that to be pretty accurate you know they should have been did anytime you take punches as a heavyweight and you and you you know pretty much uh you know you know pride yourself on taking punishment you know, it, it ain't it ain't gonna last. Well, it, it lasts in the smaller weight class, especially if you're bigger than everybody. But it's, it's you on borrowed time. You on borrowed time. So yeah, you just be on borrowed time, and Hellenius just the lucky dude. You know what I'm saying? You can't pride yourself, especially in heavyweight division, taking on punches. Now, that's what Joe Joyce priding himself on. He's 37, so any given moment, somebody hit Joe Joyce the right way. You know. You know, but heavyweight's age a little bit different. But nonetheless, I just feel like Hellenius just was, you know, in the right place at the right time versus Adam Kanaki. He'd have been, I think he got stopped by Dillian White, they were saying, or maybe dropped or something like that. So, um, but yeah, you know, it can't happen. It can't happen. And would I be surprised, surprised? Nope. Nope. I won't, I won't be like, oh, man, I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't, dude. Deontay Wilder, almost 40. He was already thinking about retirement. 
So once you already thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? Once you already thinking about it, dude, you, I mean, you already talking about it. People got to talk you out of retirement. That, that ain't never a good sign. That ain't never a good sign. You know, that, that is never a good sign. At all. So, there's some things that, that's working for, Hel for Hellenius too in this fight. This fight shouldn't be on pay-per-view neither, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's kind of a, a joke that it's on pay-per-view, but it got, it, got, it got some ingredients for upset. Hellenius confident, and obviously, I don't know how he feel, you know, what his experience was with sparring with Wilder, how confident he feel and all that, but, you know, Wilder lost a lot of rounds in his career. And he counted on that right hand. Hellenius got a little bit. He got a little taste of that right hand. He got a little taste of it. So, I think, you know what I'm saying? I think, uh, I think, I think he got some things working for him. But, you know, I expect Water to, to put it all together. I really do. I expect Water to put it all together and, uh, and, and get him. Get him out of there. You know? Water, you know, you know. You know, he got some, you know, like I said, he got some things working against him. And, you know, Hellenius, you know, obviously it worked two ways. He been in the ring with Hellenius. He know how he move, you know, I'm talking that type of stuff. But, you know, when he loses Hellenius, it's over with. It's time to retire. You know, he can he can keep fighting. For sure. For sure, for sure. He can keep fighting. You know, Muhammad Ali fought past his prime. Then he fight, you know, after he got demolished by Larry Holmes. I think he continued fighting after that. It becomes an addiction, but he was already thinking about stopping. So if you Hellenius, guess what? If he was already thinking about it, he was on the brink of retirement. You know, if you give him a little nudge in that direction, man, you might, you might can beat him. And he, you know, then he said he want to fight three years, three until he forty three years and all that. He already talking about retirement. So that's your mental edge right there. He just got the, the shit beat out of him by Tyson Fury. That's another mental edge. You've been in the ring with him. So, all advantages. And they probably started paying Deontay Wilder a big ass purse anyway. So if this fight was, you know, tend to go one way, it might be an opportunity for them, you know, kind of to give it to Hellenius if he can make it that far. It is disputable to be honest. You know, he's tired of paying water that, that $20 million. And this is something to think, something to chew on for a minute. They tired of paying him $20 million. You know? So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All, all interesting. All very, very interesting. But. But only time will tell. But it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good matchup. It's a really good matchup, you know, for regular TV. And I don't think the pay-per-view is going to do any good, quite frankly. So, I mean, I could be wrong. You know, it'd be a lot of, fa it'd be a lot of Facebook and social media and YouTube supporters. When they time to, it's time to put the money in the pay-per-view collection plate, they don't. You know, and like I said before, I ain't like really knocking nobody that don't tend to don't buy this fight because I ain't buying it. I ain't watch the uh, fight from this past weekend with uh with uh with some fine door. Now I get hell about that. Nah, more to my weekend than throwing you know throwing it away watching fine door at Ucampo. Way more. Shit, I don't know about y'all, but shit, hell yeah, she might as well go do what your girlfriend want. Hit the titty bar, you know what I'm saying? Hit the bar and all that. Might as well, shit. Before it get too cold outside, you might as well go put your uh, hook and reel, you know, your fishing pole in the sea and bring something back. 
<laughs> I'll be damned if I see dude. I better be snowed in or some shit. It must it gotta be terrible weather, raining or some shit. You know, I still probably end up putting on a movie before I watch some bull crap. I told you I ain't I ain't watching uh I ain't just watching any that bullshit ass boxing no more. I'm sorry, I used to do that all the time. I used to do it all the time. Watch any and every every type of boxing. But man, I no more. It ain't, ain't no more, man. I you know I still watch the smaller guys. That's about it. But anything they throwing out, they throwing on, dude. I ain't speaking on it. I ain't watching no bullshit. I mean, y'all lucky if I cover the fights this weekend. I really don't have no interest in none, neither, none of them, honestly. At all. I might end up going to sleep, waking up, going to the casino or some shit. I don't know. More than likely, I support Shields and Wilder and uh, I stream Wilder shit, by the way. Shields and, you know, Wilder and, um, and Haney. Uh, you know, wilder shit on the phone or the, the computer or some shit like that, and then have uh, you know, I got ESPN Plus with Shields, and then probably uh, um, have uh, Haney on the on the big screen. So, yeah, that's about it for all I got, man. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel. Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Um, you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Amazon, 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 Amazon,